we are your local election headquarters. Gubernatorial candidate Beto O'Rourke was in Midland tonight. Let's go right to ABC Big 2, Stephanie Martinez. Stephanie, you were there tonight and spoke with him. Yes, I was, guys. Um, Beto O'Rourke had a personal meeting greet in the community. We talked about some of his priorities he wants to address as the election for governor takes place. Dozens of people show up to Martin Luther King Jr. Park to hear him speak. He said he's focusing on expanding Medicaid, getting more federal money into the communities, and adding funding for public school systems. He also says he personally wants to impact each county in Texas as he visits different cities up to, until his election. Ideas that can bring people, Republicans and Democrats alike, together. I think Texas needs to get back to doing the big things. And as governor, I'm going to keep my focus there. Beto says he wants, he has many plans in place and encourages both parties to vote as the election gets closer. Reporting live from studio, Stephanie Martinez, ABC Big 2 News. All right, thank you so much, Stephanie. Well, O'Rourke is not the only one with his hat in the ring. Yeah, a lot of candidates, 13 candidates in the race for governor. Here's a look at the five others who are running against O'Rourke in the Democratic primaries. See here, Larry Baggett, Ignacio Barrientes, Michael Cooper, Joy Diaz, and Rich Wakeland. On the Republican side, incumbent Greg Abbott is seeking re-election. He'll face Paul Ballou, Daniel Harrison, Candy K. Horn, Donald Fines, Chad Prather, and Alan B. West. And stay tuned right